Hello friends and welcome to Non-Toxic Home. We are embarking on a new studying journey and it is going to be entitled Pharmacaea Revealed. Uh, we're going to discuss the poisonous snake bite in prophecy. You know what I'm talking about here. Uh, we're going to discuss basically how robotic zombies are real. Um, serpents, asps, uh, poison, etc. Scorpions. Uh, there's much more about pharmacaea in the Bible than I realized, honestly. <laughs> and pharmacaea is the name of the end times game, really. Uh, it is what started it all off, March 2020. Uh, we've got videos on the first seal if you don't know what we're talking about here. I can, uh, I can, I can say that um, the as 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 the world is under judgment as the um, government does things um, it's all going to be under the umbrella of health and safety and what is health and safety pharmacaea they are I mean that's how 2020 happened I mean it was it's it's going to be under that umbrella um, that's just how how that works mm -hmm. and uh, you see we've mentioned before in in, in videos that um, there are big hospitals at least in this area that are spending a fortune on buildings mm -hmm. um, and we mentioned that these hospitals are not going to sp and a hospital and a uh, pharmaceutical company they're not going to spend that kind of money unless they expect to get very large returns on it so um, just worldly examples of what she is talking about as far as pharmacaea goes in um, I will we will say that she is um, revealing to all of us what she has been studying I um, we're just I'm, a, I'm along for the ride and I will uh, comment when I feel like I know something yes yes <laughs> right well it's much easier for me to share once <clears throat> like right now with him and with you than to share with him and then to share with you and then I forget things and all these sorts of things so this way that's how we're probably going to do um, this moving forward, most likely, is just share with him what I'm sharing with you at the same time. Uh, prophecy is coming to pass, and it's not just in regards to pharmacaea. Uh, we're going to read a lot of these things um, in context, and the context reveals a whole lot about things that are have already we've already seen happen, and things that are just God's just starting. Uh, beginning the process such as he's prom uh, promised to remove livestock and he's begun that process uh, we started a series on livestock as well we're not abandoning our other topics okay but with fall coming uh, and with the whole monkeypox thing and uh, you know people are continuing to die and people are continuing to get sick and they are confused as to why a lot of people still how do they not know I, I don't I don't know I was just thinking that it's funny. Um, I don't. I don't know if if you guys have noticed this or not, but uh, business wise, people are very indecisive. People don't know what they want, and I just it's it's happening more and more. And um, she and I get, you know, sick here and there from things that are sprayed in the sky and it's just uh it's interesting how all of that um comes into play we we see it through the lens of um we, uh, through biblic biblically we see it through the through it through that lens and it's uh it's interesting and uh it's uh we, we just we have a different perspective because we have a different guide and hopefully you come to have that guy too. Right. So the indecisiveness actually is a fulfillment of prophecy, by the way. That's part of it, believe it or not. So when you look uh, deeply into the words themselves, 
the original Hebrew or the original Greek, depending on where you're studying, there's a whole lot of additional information that you find. And, you know, you may disagree with some of the things uh, that I see. I see things through a different lens. I unfortunately have a history. I have three decades of experience with drinking the Pharmacaea Kool-Aid. And uh, I've got an article on the website that I wrote in late 2019, or maybe it's fall 2019. And uh, that article gets more traffic than any other post on our website. It's, if you go to our website, which will be linked to below, it's non-toxic-home.org, search Pharmacaea, and you'll find that article. And we also have a couple of previous, actually three or four previous videos in the series as well. And we're not gonna repeat those things here. Right. Um, I, I wanted to mention that uh, um, I have noticed, because I, I like to go back and listen to videos that we do. It's a good reminder of what we've said and things like that. And um, the search function on our YouTube channel, um, I have used it five times, I think, and it's, it's worked once. So we apologize about that. Um, it's nothing that we I, can control. I've yeah. been telling people to get off YouTube and subscribe elsewhere for <laughs> like two years. Sorry. So no, no, just you're fine. Meant, I just wanted yeah. to mention that um, it's uh, it's not doesn't 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 work real well. So not surprising. We're super shadow banned on there. So because so. they hate us. So because we speak the truth. Uh, if you go to Odyssey, you can search all of our videos there, and the Pharmacaea videos are on there as well as the other platforms except for YouTube, of course. So we're going to start um, in Deuteronomy. If you want to grab your Bible, please do so. Uh, prophecy is coming to pass, as I've already mentioned. Uh, a lot of things are, are starting. We're seeing a lot of uh, precursors to things. I know there are a lot of people out there saying, this is a mark of the beast. Well, did you read the verse before the mark of the beast in Revelation? Did you read that verse? Did you read the book of Revelation? Because you would know this is just a precursor. Obviously, it's a deadly precursor. Obviously. Obviously, it's a toxic precursor. Yeah, of course. But it's not It's not the mark of the beast because there's no, no worship involved here. So you, you have to study. Don't listen to false prophets. For those of you who might be new, um, we uh, our channel has grown just a little bit, but for those of you who might be new, um, we don't get our information from church. We get our information from King James Bible, 1611, and then we have study materials that we uh, have that uh, when we do a deep words, which in, in our Bibles, there's little numbers above the word, which is either in Hebrew or Greek, and we go in and we dive in to that you're not going to get that information in a church churches are not going churches are not telling you right now that we're in the end times if they did do you think they would be able to survive uh, do you think they'd be able to pay their bills that's <laughs> the churches there we have videos up about churches but we are different we get our information from the bible and um, when she talks about prophecy being fulfilled um, they're the war on meat. Um, if you read deeper into, if you get your information at all from the media, if you read deeper into that information, actually, you know, spend time and read. Well, what? I mean, there's, it's people just don't do that anymore. You can see inside those that that information what's going on. So. Yeah, so uh, besides just pharmacaea in this study, there, we're also going to discuss some verses suggestive to me of chemtrails, <laughs> believe it or not, in the Bible, uh, which blew my mind when I read it. Yeah, um, also some verses that are suggestive to me of literally monkeypox, <laughs> believe it or not, uh, or similar skin diseases. Uh, and of course, you know, nothing's what we're told. I, we've got a video, I've got a video up on the true causes of disease. You know, don't believe virologists who are just sorcerers. Pharmacaea is sorcery. Uh, also, 
verses about the United Nations, 5G, all these sorts of things. So, and there we uh, we could remind there are, I mean, obviously, pharmacaea, chemtrails, all those things. Those are meant to affect everyone. It doesn't matter if you're a recluse living in the middle of a hundred acre woods, or if you are um, if you go into work every day. It, it, it doesn't matter. It's going to affect you, and um, we can. If I mean, there are ways to contact us through our our website and all that. Um, there are home remedies. To help deal with those things that um, that are coming, I mean, she and I are affected by them. So we, I mean, we, we do certain things to to help our bodies um, fight fight them, and that kind of information is more and more relevant um, now than it ever ever has been before. So um, if you want to find out more about those, uh, feel free to. Uh, Go ahead. So I've got, I'm sharing tons of information. Sure. Online, in sure. videos and in articles. Sure, she is. And, and, and so be sure you subscribe to our newsletter if you aren't already. Uh, I'm sharing uh, lots of supplements. We're trying lots of new supplements to help with microwave sickness and memory, cognitive issues, um, pain, inflammation, all of these things that are caused by chemical exposure and exposure to non-native EMFs, specifically microwaves for us. Mm -hmm. uh, and so be sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell wherever you're at. Um, and be sure to subscribe to our newsletter as well because I share things in the newsletter they don't share anywhere else. Um, I don't really read the newsletter, so... No, no. <laughs> but I, um, I am in the process of sharing what we take on a daily basis, gotcha. why we take it, why you might want to take it, the sources that we use, gotcha. um, and and that sort of thing. So. I just wanted to bring that up because there are ways to deal with it. Yeah. There, there, I mean, prophecy is coming. It's coming to pass. Um, there is... It, it's biblically stated that it is impossible to avoid. It's going to be everywhere. So mm -hmm. knowing how to handle it uh, non-pharmaceutically is uh, very helpful. Yeah, so scripture actually tells us that all life is going to languish. So not just the wicked, because we're here on earth, and not just the animals, not just the insects or the plants, all life. And so we are going to start in Deuteronomy 28. Um, I encourage you to read Prior to that, uh, at the beginning of chapter 28, it talks about the blessings for obedience, which are awesome. So, again, I recommend reading it on your own. Um, but we're going to start in verse 15, if you want to read just the individual verse. Okay. This is this whole section here is the punishment for disobedience, and we are a dis disobedient, wicked world right now. And by the way, the, the black, the, 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 the bold... Um, sections above weren't in the original Bibles. They are they were created later. The, like the the punishment for disobedience that that's not in the Hebrew or Greek scrolls. Right. All right. So fifteen, just that one. Yes, just the one verse. But it but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee all right so this book is dualistic I know that a lot of prophecy teachers would disagree I don't care I've read it I've studied I've read and studied Revelation and the Olivet Discourse and I've studied the Old Testament prophets a lot and much of what is in is discussed here in um, as the punishment for dis for punishment for disobedience is in Revelation and such. So, can I mention one thing? Yes. Yeah. So keep in mind that if if you go to church or you listen to someone else out there, um, they get their education from um, what's known as we we've coined the term Rockefeller education. Yeah. 
um, there are certain the the information that they get is filtered down through they go to Bible school or whatever and they are told what to teach they are told all the information that they get comes from one source so um, they are pastors are no different than doctors or lawyers they they get their information from one source and they regurgitate it and if you'll notice that if you say for example go to a church service at Christmas which is not biblical at all they only read they only do read from certain areas they don't ever venture out from that um, when she says that she doesn't care about where or the what what experts right. say it's because these experts get their information from the same place they aren't they, they, they aren't deep diving into these books. These books have no, the numbers I talked about. These books have numbers above them, and they aren't doing that. Um, they're they're regurgitating what they were told in Bible school. Um, they, so I just wanted to wanted to mention that that all these professions that uh, they're just regurgitating whatever whatever they were taught. So. Right. So one thing that we're going to find in this study is that God speaks against trusting the experts, <laughs> which, hello, pharmacia, right? I mean, what have we heard the past two years? It's trust the experts. Trust the experts. They know better than you. Yeah, they don't. Okay. So this is what's going to happen if people won't listen to God. All right. And so with first seal already open, God is not a man that he should repent, nor that he should lie. Once it begins, it's not going to end. Now, this is not a seven-year thing. All right. Yes, part of it is seven years, of course. But this is not a seven-year tribulation period. Study your Bible. Um, you got you got to study to know that. All right. Take everything you learned in church. Take everything you learn from people who teach online. Just about 99.99999% of them. All of the books that you've read that are extra biblical, take them and put them in the trash. Like literally, I, I used to have Joyce Meyer books and some of these other books from other people. And I literally picked up those books and put them in the trash. I used to have an NIV Bible. Um, I actually came across it in the past month when I was uh, cleaning out some stuff. And I literally picked it up and put it in the trash. It, it's trash. It's junk. It's wicked. It's evil. It was actually the teen study Bible, which is whew, real bad. But if people won't listen to God, if they won't, not just listening and hearing, we are, it, the Bible says, don't just be hearers, but you got to be doers. And so if people won't he listen and they won't do, they won't follow the commandments of God, which are, of course, there's the Ten Commandments, which uh, are not Mosaic Law. Mosaic law was fulfilled, and so we don't have to follow the statutes of the Mosaic law. But uh, the Ten Commandments are still in play because they're not Mosaic law. Um, don't try to use Galatians because if you read Galatians, the entire book, you'll see in chapter two or three where it talks about a mediator. Read those verses about the mediator, and you'll find that oh, okay, so Mosaic law or so Mosaic law is abolished, but what God wrote in stone in His holy finger that's still in play. Okay, so that makes sense, right? So we need to follow his 10 commandments, his commandments and his statutes. Now in the New Testament, there's a lot of instruction that we that it, that are that's given to us um, as to how we're supposed to live our daily lives. And we've we Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say Matthew, Mark, Luke and John Matthew is a really a really good place to if you just uh, I think it starts in chapter or something like that somewhere around there anyway we have a um, yeah chapter 5 is a really good place to uh, learn about how to live your daily daily life um, just total instructions um, I think and, and you can't search 
search for it anymore really but i think in our live the one and only live broadcast we did we dive into that some but we have videos up that talk about um how to how to live um what god expects from us the instructions and stuff like that but matthew mark luke and john all have uh instructions and um it's it's how we learn what we do today it's why we don't celebrate holidays it's it's uh why we uh pray in secret it's why we if we choose to give somewhere it's why we give in secret it's all those things um if you're new to the if you're if you're new to us um that's that that would be where to go to uh um to to study and by the way where you get the the bible that you read where you get your information is highly important as she was just talking about Satan has many of his favorite translations out there and you're not going to get what you need to go the right direction in those. Um, we use the King James. The best one is 1611. We have study tools up. Um, you can search our channels for them. I don't know which search engines work and which ones don't. <laughs> go ahead. Odyssey. You can search all of our videos on Odyssey. So um, that that has all that information on there. You just gotta take the time. Um, she was talking about how um, this isn't a seven year process. All you gotta do is read Revelation and count the. There is some math in there. Um, obviously, we're not supposed to know everything, but it, just read it and count. Do the math, and um, it, that'll that'll show you. Right, and so if you are listening to someone who says that the uh, seals, the trumpets, and the vials all happen at the same time, they are lying to you. Mm -hmm. Do not listen to them about anything that they say ever, ever, ever. Read Revelation. There are words such as after in there. And in the Greek language, when a sentence begins with and, that denotes order of things. First, Also, you, you've got first, second, third. Oh, the false prophets uh, just just wax worse and worse, and just, they'll continue to. Just read it and count the years. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I think we did it, and it was 13 or 14, somewhere around in there. Well, the way that people get around that is they say, well, the, the, the seals, the trumpets, and the vials all happen at the same time. That's how, you know, that's how you can have all of these years in at one time because it's all at once but that is clearly not the case clearly not the case but understand that the truth will win yeah it always does yeah, yeah. and um that's right but if those false prophets who are spreading that those evil wicked lies about a seven-year tribulation and a pre-trib rapture if they don't repent and believe all these curses are going to come upon them. Now, some of these curses are coming upon us because we are here. And there's none righteous, no, not one, saith the Lord in, in Scripture. And so we are all deserving of God's anger. Um, obviously, we aren't appointed to his wrath. But that's way down the, way down the road. That's way down the line. Uh, all right. Hmm. Verse 16. Next one. I was just reading that one. Um, cursed shalt, cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Hmm. Yeah. So, it, if you live in the city and you think, "Oh, well, we're safe in the city," or I was actually just talking to you this morning about how in New York City and some other um, large cities, and and probably in smaller cities as well. I don't know. They're basically. Uh, for various reasons, making making the city a fortress. Uh, they're making things on the roads that can that can come down and block off the roads. And so in New York City, they're they're doing it on the roads, and they're saying that this is for uh, if there's a storm surge um, in the waves, so that the city doesn't get flooded and things like that. But if you really think about it, um, that's making this trying to make the city into a stronghold, into a fortress, and so those who place their trust in that um, they're going to be cur cursed in the city but those who flee the city 
into the wilderness, into six acre woods or 50 acre woods or whatever, like us, well, we're going to be cursed here. Um, the, the earth is cursed here. Uh, I still haven't posted my article about uh, some of the, the real causes for the coming famine um, that we've observed here in regards to livestock and plants. And uh, it's really hard. It's really hard to raise animals. It's really hard to grow plants. Um, and it, a lot of people think, well, I'll just go out in, into the wilderness and forage and whatever. Okay, but do you know that you're being watched wherever you go? Uh, that's why we're having problems here because of the microwaves from the um, SpaceX dirigibles slash satellites. So. I. I just talked to a, 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 a potential client not that long ago about uh, plants not uh, not not growing and had to kind of bring bring that up a little bit. So it's uh, it, it's everywhere. It's affecting everyone, and uh, it was actually news to them. <laughs> so yeah, All right. Uh, Seventeen cursed shout. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. So basket um, is symbolically the rich abundance of the ground. So in other words, the ground is not going to produce abundantly. Well, we're seeing that. We're seeing crop failures, uh, the, the drought for one, but plants in general aren't producing. Our CSA shut down and cited the reasoning as lack of abundance this word basket means the rich abundance of the ground. Uh, we're seeing it right now. We're seeing yeah, it right now. The, 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 there, there, there's more to the CSA thing. But, there is more to it, absolutely. Um, there, 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 th we don't need to go, yeah. go into that stuff, but um, that's certainly part of it. Yeah, yeah. And produce farmers are struggling because uh, I was actually communicating with one last week who said that they aren't sure if they're going to make a profit this year. That's a produce farmer. That's a small produce farmer. And she said that was the case for everybody else in the area as well. And you've got poultry uh, farmers going bankrupt because of the alleged bird flu. Yeah. Um, uh, verse 18. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thine of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. So, cursed. What you do is going to be cursed. Uh, it's really hard to get things done these days because uh, everything seems just like a mountain to climb every day, and a lot of that's because of the radiation for us, um, and I'm sure the chemtrails as well. We 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 don't focus on those things, of course. You know, we've got all of our tools and we put on the armor of God and, uh, you know, just say, all right, God, we're going to rely on you for strength today and you're going to get us through and we're going to accomplish what you want us to accomplish. And we're going to do our darndest to, uh, you know, further your kingdom today. And we do our best, but still what people do, that's going to be cursed. Uh, fruit of thy body, fruit of thy land. So the literal fruit and food of the land, that's cursed. It's that's it's already happening. The thy kind is cattle. Uh cattle population has drastically uh been reduced during the drought here in the United States. There were I don't know how many cattle that just dropped dead uh because it was so hot. I think it's because it was hot. And then in Texas you had mile long or maybe multiple miles long uh, lines of ranchers taking in their cattle because they couldn't afford to feed them they couldn't afford to feed their cattle and you know we've got we don't buy chicken feed but i buy oats and sunflower seeds for them and the prices just skyrocketed for grains and well food in general i'm sure you guys know that well, um, and also, I, I don't remember how we stumbled up upon this I don't know, at all, but apparently there is a, uh, a bill that's about to pass in Congress, and part of that, it's, uh, what was it, uh, 
inflation relief yeah. thing. And in that bill was um, a methane reduction um, clause. Mm. There's, I think, $60 billion um, set aside to um, basically pay farmers to get rid of their, uh, get rid of their cows. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's, it's all there. I mean, there's, there's, they're spending, we're going into economic downturn and they're spending $3 trillion. So, um, that's going to help. That'll help. Yeah. That'll help so (laughs) much. That'll, that'll, that'll relieve inflation. Absolutely. Yes. Good job, government. Good job. Yep. Well, they're just puppets. They're just smarty pants. Yeah. Yeah. Experts. That's that's what experts do. <laughs> that's what you get when you trust the experts. Oh, there All right. you go. Also, curse the flocks of thy sheep. I have a big old question. Yeah. What in the heck does, did you look up the word cursed? Mm, I don't think I did. Because. So I. I study on my own. I honestly haven't this week, and I, I told my wife this, and she called me out on it. <laughs> I did. We had that conversation. <laughs> she told me that it is... Uh, well, I had two two emergency situations that I had to cover, and they're actually neither one completely taken care of yet. Um, and she called me out and said, you do the things that are important to you. And... Uh, I'll be honest, because I'm studying. She gave me some verses to look at, and I, I'm working through them. And she does studies herself. And I'll be honest that I would cursed would have been one of the first words I would have looked up in this case. So. I don't. If I did look it up, I didn't write it down. But I don't think I did look it up. Um, I look up almost every word, <laughs> almost every word. And of course, whenever I miss one, you notice. I or just, whenever, or whenever I miss one, you say, "Hey, what does that word mean?" I've just been looking at this, and I've been curious the yeah. whole time. Yeah, what no, it means. no, that's very logical. I should have looked it up. Uh, so it means to inflict with a curse. There are at least five other Hebrew words with the same general meaning. This is really interesting. This is this is a really good. All right, good job, honey. Uh, this verb, in a more specific sense, means to bind with a spell, pharmakeia, sorcery. Ah, here's the here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, so she and I have been talking about how things were when we uh, were growing up, which um, twenty years ago, twenty five. You know the, that that sort of that sort of thing. Um, things in this world functioned relatively normally um and then there there wasn't disruption to cattle farmers did their thing um crop farmers did their thing and there really wasn't uh an interruption to that um and you know obviously they've been spraying in the skies for for decades but um now this word curse that she's now just looked up um but these things that are happening with cows and farms just in general they're being disrupted by um pharmaceutical things mm-hmm. um they're the the government is doing things to encourage farmers to do things um it's just i mean their farmers are being paid not to plant crops in mm-hmm. places. Um, they are soon, most likely, to be being paid to get rid of their cows. Um, so literally, farmers are being paid to twiddle their thumbs and uh, that, that, that sort of thing. And uh, that's, that's part of it all. Um, that's the disruption. You're seeing it in Europe. You're starting to see it in the U.S. So... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so also curse the flocks of thy sheep. And so that, that's sheep. I apparently didn't go any deeper than that about sheep. She studies but, a lot. And yeah. um, so is there anything else on, on the on the curse thing? Um, yeah, oh, actually, yes. It, it, it discussed uh, about the snake, the serpent. 
Uh, and of course, the serpent and the snake and pharmacaea are one and the same, really. I mean, if you look at the bowl of Hygieia, which is the symbol for uh, pharmaceuticals, for the pharmacy, pharmacist, uh, that's got a snake or two, one snake. And then you've got the catechus, uh, which is the symbol of modern medicine, Western medicine. Uh, if you want to go to the doctor, it's going to have a catechus there. It's got two snakes around it cursed and so you've got pharmaceuticals and and which are being sprayed in the sky because chemicals and pharmaceuticals are the same thing you can't um take big chemical and separate it from big pharma they're one and the same thing the chemical companies produce pharmaceuticals pharmaceuticals produce chemicals or pharmaceutical companies produce chemicals and we've talked about this in a lot of videos and i'll bring it up again because people forget and we're all we're all at a certain level of being dum dums. I mean, if you're offended by that, um, get we're, over it. Get, we're all getting dumber by the day. Just if you're offended by it, get over it. Um, there, the 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 world is controlled by two hedge funds now. Um, I, BlackRock and I forget the I forget the other one. And everything they they own probably ninety plus percent of uh, the. Uh, the world economy they, they they control that much and everything that you have or use in your daily life whether it's bread pharmaceuticals uh, chemicals that you may or may not use in your grass um, all of it comes from those sources and they they own parts of everything you just go just just do a, a stock list of your favorite company and BlackRock, and I can't remember the other one. Anyway, they own the majority stock in those. They have representatives everywhere. And that is what controls everything. So when she says pharmacaea is big chemical, is, 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 that's why. It's all controlled by, that's how, that's how the masses are controlled by a few. And there are... Uh, many sources that you can go to to learn more about this if you don't already know. So Yes, but well, specifically in regards to Big Pharma and Big Chemical, mm -hmm. they in particular are the same thing because you can have one chemical that is produced that is used as a pesticide mm -hmm. and as a pharmaceutical. And that is how it works. That They want to get the most bang for their buck. So they try to figure out as many uses as possible from developing one specific product. They just don't tell you. <laughs> I learned something about, there's an article. Um, we use uh, our home pages on pre-search, I think. And it has all the sites that we go to regularly. And then below that, there are articles that we, we read occasionally. And one of them was about Listerine. <laughs> and how um, they it was once it was used as an antiseptic before it became a mouthwash and it's the one of the, I think it's if I think it's the best selling mouthwash ever there's a lot of people there are a lot of people that um, make their living from stocks because of a uh, it was legally set up that way accidentally so somehow some guy did it and he didn't realize it. the thing is he didn't put an end date on when this happened so this has been in place for a hundred years and it's it was an interesting article but it demonstrates that different chemicals are used for different things and the biggest mouthwash in the country or the world was not a mouthwash to begin with they developed it into from right. they, they took a chemical and put it in another use and now use it as a mouthwash that is the largest seller in, in the country, I think. So, yeah. just an example. Yeah, well, and also uh, radio frequencies and microwaves. Satan is the prince of the power of the air. Those are extremely harmful. Both are harmful. Anything that's done with chemicals can be done with uh, radio frequencies or microwaves. And of course, we have the five GER uh, satellites slash dirigibles. They're very close. They're right up there and as well as the small cell towers and that's being proliferated across the world. And so those, those are the two primary uh, things that are really harming 
uh, life in general right now. Can I give the um, the what we use for radio radiation? Can I give the um, the remedy right now? I have a video that I haven't posted yet, so I can post that video before this. Before I post this, okay, I'll post that video next. So I'll post so. When you are listening to this, uh, <laughs> look at our previous video that we posted, and it's going to be uh, a homemade DIY free microwave sickness remedy. And it's really easy. It's very easy to make. It's free. Again, I said free. It's just water. That's all you need is water. So. Yep. Yep. All right. So we are on... Verse 19. 19, it yeah. looks like. So, cursed, which is all those things that uh, we have mentioned, yeah. which... Pharmacaea. Pharmacaea. Yeah. Well, it's, it's interesting because um, these curses don't happen without a cause. Right. Um, there, there is some... There is a reason for everything. Um, everything... Come, I mean, you don't interrupt normal functioning functions of things without something happening to it. So, grass grows like it would normally grow unless it is there's a cause that's caused to stop. So, um, just like uh, we humans, our kitty cat wants back in. She doesn't like she's oh. indoor and outdoor. Verse nineteen. Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shalt thou be when thou goest out. Huh. I have nothing to add. What does that mean, exactly? When you're in your house and when you're out of your house, or when you go inside and outside? Mm, I wonder if I looked that up. Hey, girlfriend. I'm not sure if I looked that up. Now I'm wondering if I looked that up or not. How you doing? Try to be comprehensive. Keep in mind that I did not study these things along with her. I'm just, it's, uh, um, okay. that verse I do not understand. Okay, I, I did look this up. I remember um, it didn't give me any additional information. Basically, when you're coming, when you're going. I know you're fine. It's not time yet. Kitty girl. Uh, yeah, it just means when you're coming, when you're going. Whatever that means. Sounds like life in general. Yeah. Because if you're not coming, then you're going. Probably. Okay. Anyways. I don't know. Verse 20. The Lord shall send upon the cursing, vexation, and rebuke, and all thou settest thine hand unto for to do, until thou be destroyed... And until thou perish quickly, because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. All right. So who's sending this again? Who's doing it? The Lord. The Lord is sending it. Because of wickedness. If he were not to judge such a wicked, wicked, evil generation he would not be good and he is good so entire industries are being destroyed right now um i was we were talking i used to work in child care um and we were talking recently about you know I, i'm sure that that's been pretty devastated that industry's been devastated and of course lots of other industries as well um have been just completely destroyed because the way of life for so many people has completely changed like lots of Oh, uh, our cat's just. She's, con she's, she's hungry. She's to, climbing. She wants to be yeah. in the video. Yeah, uh, like gas stations have closed down. A lot of businesses that relied on commuters for their income, such as you know bakeries and places um, like at courthouses. You know, courthouses. A lot of that's gone online. A lot of uh, downtown areas. Um, a lot of those have really suffered. A lot of those businesses and industries have suffered because people are now working online. Yeah, I, there was a 
<clears throat> the the uh, the spot that I mentioned there. She and I both look at this. If one person has to get up and leave for a few minutes, we read these articles. And there was one article about um, over over employment, something to do with uh, people uh, being able to take on multiple jobs for because they're working at home. I mean, if you wonder, if you go to a store, interesting note. Um, I shop at Lowe's a lot, and they never have cashiers anymore. They, you have to go through, you you have no choice but to go through the self-checkout. There is one person standing there at the self-checkout, and they have 10 lanes along the front, and they're all closed. Huh. Every last one of them. I hadn't told her that I know, yet. I didn't know that. And, um one aspect of the brick and mortar shortage of workers is they're all at home working at home mm-hmm. but working multiple full-time jobs and um, lying to their employers yes yeah, so there's, there's a there's a there's an art there was an article on on this about there there's a business that a person has created about how to do this successfully how to scam your boss how to make more importantly, how to make sure to keep the expectations low with your manager. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, really? People, there's apparently lots of people who start out, like they're working in IT and they start out their full-time job, their regular pay is $140,000 a, a year. That's a ton of money. Yes. And then that's not enough for them. And so they get a second job. They realized, well, I'm not commuting anymore, and so I have this time on my hands, and they get a second job. But instead of getting a part-time job, they get a full-time job. And so there are literally some people that have two or three, literally, some, some four. two or three some four. Uh, full-time jobs, and it's just one person, but they do so little, and they have their ex- they, they set the expectation for you know their production so low that they're able to do it all in 40 hours a week which is just that is a huge uh indicator of the society in the world in which we're living in because there are people who would love to have those jobs and would love to be able to feed their families but they can't because people like them are greedy so evil yeah there's there was one example of a guy who um his sister couldn't find a job so he uh he gave one of his full-time jobs to her and uh just showed up at the meetings and the virtual uh, the virtual virtual meetings and just told her what to do and uh i mean that's 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 what uh it's part of what's going mm-hmm. on in the world. And none of the employers knew know that they have multiple full-time jobs. Right. They keep it all secret. Yeah. But but there's an, apparently now an industry teaching you how to do that. I, did, I was... <laughs> I read that when I think she went out to take care of some animals and I was reading that and it just blew me away. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, so, all right. So, the but the Lord is sending this. He's sending upon the cursing. Cursing here is a different word it's not cursed it's destruction so he's sending destruction and as we've already talked about entire industries are being destroyed lots of small businesses have gone out of business in the past couple years uh they're pushing out the little guy yeah and there's a there's a headline that i saw from a video um i drink coffee and watch a video every morning and talked about the second largest aluminum uh, maker of aluminum was uh, going to shut down because of the high energy prices. Uh, come on, people, really? I mean, think about it. Um, they're going to shut down for 12 to 16 months, it said, because of skyrocketing energy. Um, think. Um, there, it's got to be. 
It's got to be from one of the elite, mm -hmm. uh, an elite something. Someone owns it because they're they're going to shut down really for 16 months. Um, they either rent or they own this building. And if anybody knows anything about either one of those things, it costs money to rent. It also costs money. You have taxes to pay when you own uh, property taxes and there are costs of ownership. Mm -hmm. um, they're not shut down because of high energy prices. Uh, when when uh, gas rose in, in, in cost for a short while, it's actually gone down in our area, but people didn't shut down because gas prices rose. What they do? They raise their prices. So yeah. all this company had to do, has to do, would be to raise their prices. So they are lying to you. Yeah. They're not shutting down because of high mm -hmm. energy costs. There's something else going on. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, it affects the industry. Yes, that's, that's, that's the truth. Any, any shutdown like that is going to affect things. But use your brains. Think about it. Understand that there are other reasons. It's not because of high energy prices. But I think about all the people who are going to read that article or that yeah. headline or whatever and be like, oh, high energy costs. Maybe we should shut our business down. Yeah. It, but really? Really? You just increase your price. Yep. That's what everybody does. That's how like business works. Right. <laughs> right? Oh. If, you're, if your costs are higher yeah. at, over a certain period of time, you adjust things. You don't right. shut down because you still have property taxes. You still have all these other costs. Yeah, so I that might that could be the beginning of a trend yep. of uh, voluntary or forced shutdowns of factories, etc., uh, due to climate change. Because it couldn't possibly be that you know climate's changed as it is. It couldn't possibly be that the world's under judgment, and so climates are and weather is going to be insane. So just All wanted right, to yeah. just yeah. wanted to bring that up. So I send upon the cursing, vexation, vexation, confusion, and panic. People panicked in 2020, <laughs> didn't they? And they were confused. They were so confused. Why is COVID so different from everything else? You know, why are we? Why why do we have to cover our face and isolate in our homes and? Um, do all of these wicked things why do we have to do all of these things because of this one virus why they're so confusing um and and they panic they panic about toilet paper by the way uh go to our website and search for toilet paper because i have probably the most extensive information information informative article online in regards to toilet paper alternatives it's fantastic so. it's uh I mean, um, she gets stuck with the laundry part of it. It's not bad at all. But uh, we have, this FYI, we haven't used toilet paper in a couple of years. Haven't bought toilet paper because we, 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 have an we alternative. use an alternative. Yep, and there are lots of alternatives. My 99-year-old grandma helped me uh, with making that list because she lived through the Great Depression and she was born before toilet paper. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we've got that pharmacaea comes into the vexation, into the confusion and panic. People are so confused. Why are these things happening? Why Ukraine? Uh, why are food prices increasing? Well, you know, why, why, why? Still so confused. Um, and rebuke. So, but Lord, okay, so who sent the confusion and the panic? God, the Lord. Uh, rebuke. Rebuke is a sharp scolding. And so he's trying to scold people. God's trying to wake people up and say, hey, quit being wicked. You know, turn to me. I love you. Look at what I've done for you. Why will you turn to me? And so, God is using the devil to, yeah. uh, to do this, by the way. And mm -hmm. it is, um, I've mentioned before that it is a long job interview and but, um, yeah, it's, it, there's a huge, beautiful reward in the end, but there's a lot of stuff that you, that you gotta, you gotta go through. And, uh, I'll tell you, things are, things are getting interesting out there and 
uh, question. I go out into the world a lot. I deal with clients a lot, and the, the questions are, are getting a little bit more interesting with the, each uh, <laughs> each client that uh, I run and in, come into contact with. But the the fact is that um, there's a prophecy that people are always going to be trying to return to normal, and that the uh, things aren't stopping. I know. That sort of thing, and that is very true. Um, there are things that uh, there there are things that I've estimated recently that uh, indicate that uh, um, people don't know what's coming. So right. So the back to the vexation. Mm. I actually missed. Excuse you. Yep. Um, <laughs> a rebuke. Uh, so back to the vex- vexation. Mm-hmm. That word also means tumult or disturbance. So all industries are disturbed. Like literally all industries are disturbed. Um, but it also denotes riots. And so uh, in 2020, we saw some riot rioting actually here in, in, in our state. And Well, we didn't see it personally. Mm-hmm. Um, you saw the remnants of it. I it did. looked like a, yeah, in Indianapolis, you saw, you, you're kind of afraid to go into that area because you said it just looked like, a, looked like there'd been war there. Um, I do not go downtown cities unless I absolutely have to. Right, right. But uh, there's rioting in multiple countries right now uh, because basically the the hammer is coming down uh, and it's going to continue. It's going to increase, especially when the second seal is open. Uh, Remember, these are judgments. God's true remnant, no panic, no fear. So if people are fearful, if they're confused, if they're panicked, then they are not walking with the Lord. That is a fact. Uh, God says uh, he's, he's not the author of confusion. Mm-mm. So if he's not the author of confusion, then people who are engaging in allowing themselves to be confused, well, that's an ind- indicative that they're not walking. If they are panicked and freaking out and scared and doing things in fear, then they're not they're not walking with our Lord. So and so he's gonna send all of these things, destruction, confusion, and scolding, and all that people set their hands to until thou be destroyed, until thou perish quickly, uh, because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. He's been forsaken. Uh, People didn't turn to him in 2020. People aren't turning to him about monkeypox. People aren't turning to him about the food supply situation. People aren't turning to him about anything. Are, are they? I mean, not many. No, not many that I'm aware of. But the remnant is small. The remnant is small. Yeah, no, I... I there... Um, I don't know of anyone... Um, I, I do know that, like I said, that the questions are getting more interesting as as I um, uh, talk to people. Um, so there, I mean, I know, and um, talking to people is uh, it's it's a little bit hard, getting a little bit harder and harder. To, uh, to 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 deal with with things, I, I have to bring I have to bring the. Uh, sometimes you just have to talk about the environment because that's just there's no other explanation. So. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we have so m- I have so much to share with everybody about this topic. Uh, it's going to blow your mind. And so uh, please be sure to subscribe to our weekly newsletter and uh, ring the bell wherever you're listening to this because we'll have much more to come on Pharmacaea Revealed. She just did that. Yes. Okay. Non-toxic out, that little finger thing. <laughs>